Good morning, and welcome to this uh, celebration of achievement for 2016. Uh, listening to John a moment ago, he said that he hoped that the event would end on a high. Uh, self evidently, the way to begin it is on a low, <laughs> and I am therefore that low. I don't feel my it's, uh, it's a privilege for me. You heard I've been on the board for a number of years, but it is a privilege for me today to stand here uh, and to welcome you to this event which does recognise what you've done, but not simply over the last year, but over a number of years, and as we shall see later in the day, uh, done over, in some instances, 30 or more years. It's spring. It's officially spring. Uh, you might not know that from the, certainly the temperature outside. It was sunny a moment ago, but for those of you paying attention, it was snowing out there. Uh, and so on a cricket ground is not something that you'd ordinarily expect. We do have politicians telling us that um, it's springtime, for the economy anyway, as it emerges from uh, its most recent winter of discontent. But you, if I'm being honest, I too, might not feel that it's yet glorious summer from the pressures that you <coughs> find yourselves daily under. St Anne's as you well know, you do the work, is a, a wide-ranging organisation. It covers complex needs, sport, in, in a, quite a spectrum of settings. Many of you will have travelled a great distance to get here today. And it is yourselves who I fully accept, daily see and deal with the pressures, uh, economic pressures not least, while providing real, real care and support to our clients. So if I can maintain my weather theme, and it is tempting if you're doing a weather themed speech and somebody gives you a screen, to want to do that kind of thing in your hand. <laughs> um, I have no idea how to do that, so I'll resist. <coughs> so what is, what is that weather forecast? Well, things are likely to be challenging for any foreseeable future that, that we have. It is true that we have our immediate challenges, um, and those we might see as weather the coming down from the north as we're experiencing the weather today. But we have longer challenges, I feel. We have to deal with developments that will be driven by <coughs> other longer term things. There are demographic changes. There is likely to be increased demand for the care and the services that we offer. Social political factors will play their role. Um, there's, for again, any foreseeable future we have, going to be this push, this recurrent requirement to use the resources that we have efficiently. There is going to be technological change, there's going to be technological innovation, and of course, and legitimately, a growing client expectation. These are going to present opportunities. <coughs> Problems, yes, but certainly opportunities. Opportunities to challenge practice, the way you, others, do things. To innovate, and we will have to engage in that process. To exchange ideas, and to challenge traditions and working patterns. Some of the things that you do may expand beyond their current parameters. New roles may well emerge driven by some of these changes that I'm mentioning. I seriously expect there will be technological innovation that will enable clients to manage their own care to a greater degree, and, and that will affect occupations in ways that I probably yet can't imagine. There certainly appears no immediate prospect that the central focus on, on regulated standards and quality of care is going to change. And of course, St Anne's has to, but as so must the sector, face the long-term questions about how to recruit and retain people who share and demonstrate the values that are required for the work that you do. We, I speak as we simply the board, but you too must deal with this future weather to best meet our clients' needs and expectations. I promise you that as a board we will do our best to avoid snow and the wrong kind of leaves on the line. But outside of that, I would ask that you uh, 
help us, assist us, participate in this. You are here, you're all here today because you deserve to be and because you bring something to this organisation and to those it serves. You bring skills, attitudes and values that we will attempt in some perhaps only small way today to uh, recognise. But I would say to you, are appreciated every day, every day that you go to work. So, if I'm a bit of a weather forecaster, then I conclude by asking more of you that you share your knowledge and skills with each other at every opportunity. Don't keep them to yourselves. Challenge yourselves and your peers and us and do that on a daily basis. Embrace one another's talents and try to have some fun. It will help sometimes, it will help you, and I'm sure it will help our clients. And if you feel like playing cricket, I'd wait until it gets warm. Thank you very much.